Hey friends, so um, if I'm honest, I kind of forgot about this, um, but if you're watching the replay, comment replay, um, I am here as uh, kind of to give you some like male perspective, if you will, um, as a male consultant on um, PRV um, and just how I run my business. Um, a little bit of a background on me, my name is Eric Mobley, um, I am currently a director um, for Team Wax Up Your Life, um, and uh, my sponsor and superstar director is Mallory Thompson. Um, she's also one of my best friends. Um, okay, so um, I'm here to talk about PRV. I've been a consultant for just over a year. Um, I joined last year in the midst of being at home and everything. So um, anyway, so how do I get consistent PRV? Um, I have, um, over a 2k month, um, every month, um, over 2,000 PRV every month since I started, uh, since I joined last year. Um, my number, excuse me, my number one thing is obviously parties. Um, how do I ask people? Definitely in my follow-ups, I use Amy. Um, and as I'm following up with people, I definitely make sure that they are happy with their purchase and they're okay, uh, with everything or whatever. Um, and I just ask them, you know, would you like to have, host your own scent event and earn your own, you know, free and half price items, just like your, your host, the one that you purchased from. Um, and... Most of the time they do say no, but um, if you're consistently asking and you're not like spamming people because that's gross, um, people will, you know, you'll get those yeses. Um, you want definitely want to stick to your, um, you know, customers. Y you don't want to ask like random people that I've never purchased from you before. Um, and, you know, because that like, in my experience, that does not look good. <laughs> people don't want to support you if you're just randomly messaging them. Cold messaging is ugly, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, definitely parties. Um, I personally try to have at least six parties a month. It's usually about at least eight. Um, I'll be honest with you, as we get into the summer months, I feel like it's going to be a little slow because... Um, people are going to get out and travel more. The world is definitely opening up. We're, you know, getting closer to the end of this. Um, so, um, I think it's going to be a little slower. So I'm going to put my focus, um, elsewhere because people aren't going to be home as much, you know, warming their wax and everything. So in the future, I'm going to focus on parties that maybe focus on like, um, car bundles or unplugged or something like that. Um, all right, so definitely parties. Um, I, I usually try to have six to 10 a month, something like that. This month I had 10, um, and my PRV uh, is at uh, 3,200. Um, I'm just being completely honest. Um, and, you know, I just, there's no secret. I just ask, you know, do you want to host? And, you know, if they say yes, I put them in an agenda. And I tell them, all right, we're going to start it. I run my parties usually Sunday to Saturday. I'll usually, like, low-key extend it to the following Sunday. So it's, like, Sunday to Sunday. Um, and then I give them just a few days to kind of go over their rewards. Um, and it's just about having good host coaching. I have a YouTube channel, so I have a video that I send to my hosts about, like, the expectations of the party, you know, like we say, like, um, definitely message people before you invite them to the group, um, you know, invite your personal people first, um, you know, that sort of thing. Like, don't, you know, just invite a bunch of people to a group and it, it's kind of like the expectations of the party. So I send them that, I send them like the host rewards. Um, so yeah, parties, PRV, most of it comes from parties right now. Um, my biggest, my other biggest thing is definitely, um, I'm going to turn off the comments because I'm so squirrel. I'm like, oh my God. Um, anyway, so, um, my next thing besides parties that I, you know, helps me with my PRV, um, is definitely, um, local orders. I have a, a crap ton of local customers. Um, and whenever we were more in quarantine, like staying home more, I did a lot more deliveries, 
Um, but once the world kind of opened up a little more, like once we were able to like go out and do stuff a little more and like I wasn't as afraid to leave the house, um, I don't do a lot of deliveries anymore. Um, I do work a full-time job. I work from home, but I work at, you know, a nine to five from home. Um, it does kind of allow me to work my business, you know, when I don't have anything to do with my day job. Like my, my job is very like, once you're done with what you're doing, you're done for the day or you're done for that moment in time. So I do kind of work my business. Don't tell my boss, you know, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, um, I don't do a whole lot of deliveries anymore. And if I do, I kind of set this expectation to where it's a certain distance. Like they have to live 15 minutes from me. I do have a select few that live a little further. Um, like my mom lives about 20 to 30 minutes from me. So if it's someone who lives near my mom um, and they are my customer, I will deliver to them. Um, I just kind of set that expectation like, hey, I'm not going out to my mom's until like a week from now. Is that okay? Um, and they're, it's usually no big deal because they're saving so much on shipping. Maybe not so much, but they're saving money on shipping. So I'm helping them out and I'm delivering to them. Um, but I do a lot of porch pickup. Um, I just kind of set that expectation like, yeah, you can be added to my um, local order. Um, you can get free or discounted shipping. Um, however, you know, it, you got to come pick it up. I mean, I don't say it like that, but I'm just like, you know, okay, yeah, you know, um, I offer porch pickup. You can pick it up anytime. You know, I'm I'm home Monday through Friday all day. So feel free to come pick it up at your leisure. Um, and like every order gets a, gets a thank you card. I don't care if they, they've ordered every month or whatever. Um, and, you know, they always get a thank you card, some type of sample, um, anything like that. Um, because I want them to come back. I want them to come back to me. So I think that definitely makes a difference. Um, I definitely do like candy and so, you know, stuff like that too. Like just to kind of spark, spark it up a little bit. Um, so local orders for sure gets me a lot of PRV. Um, lately I've been doing like bundles. Um, I toyed around with like my own Mother's Day bundles and I literally just took products that I had from the house and I made like Mother's Day bundles. So it was like wall fan and pods, uh, mini fan and pods, uh, one with like a scent circle, a room spray and a wax bar. Um, and uh, of all of those, I had like, I created an order form on Google Forms. I sold like nine bundles. So it was like its own party and it was freaking awesome. So, and like, People love that they don't have to, like, look for something themselves. Um, I went and got these boxes at the Dollar Tree and, like, made it look super cute. And, like, um, I can put the some of the pictures in the comments whenever I'm done here. But, um, like, people love not having to, like, go out and shop or order something online themselves. Like, they're just like, okay, I filled out this form. I sent you the Venmo and we're done. Um, so I actually have a few people out of state I have to send stuff to, um, this week that ordered from those. Um, so yeah, definitely like creating your own bundles. People love like a theme. Like I think a big one that was going around, at least on my team, was the rainbow bundle where it was like the rainbow color of wax. Oh my God, I sold like 10 at least of those. People were like, oh, I want that because it's rainbow. Like people love a theme. Um, we had one for St. Patrick's Day, and I sold, like, three or four of them, and, like, oh my gosh, like, if you, like, take a picture with, like, of, like, the wax, and you, like, have a theme with it, people love that stuff. They love it. Like, don't be afraid to kind of, like, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, and, like, just, like, go do something that you maybe haven't done before, because I hadn't done anything like that before, and I was like, oh my gosh, um... All right, so another way I gather PRV, um, so I talked about parties, local orders, bundles, um, follow-up. Follow-up is a whole conversation in itself. I think it's been talked about in this group before, but I know that one thing that my team struggles with is like, you know, I'm not getting enough parties. Nobody's buying anything. My first question is always, are you following up? 
Do you use Amy? If you don't use Amy, do you have a follow-up follow up system? I get that we maybe, like, those subscriptions can add up. I totally get that, but you need to have some sort of follow-up system if you want to make this business work and you want to make some money um, and you want to team build. Like, that's it. following up is a great way to team build. Um, you need to follow up with your team, too. Like, like we are not mind readers of course but it is good to check on them like just to let them know like hey do you need anything I see that you are not active this you know it, you know you're not active this month um is there anything that I can do to help that's what I usually do so like you need to follow up if you you know want to make it in this business I'm just being honest so, um, follow-up is a big thing. I check Amy once or twice, or no, usually every day, if not every other day. Sometimes if my weekends are busy, it's like, I'll skip a couple of days, but I'll definitely catch up on Monday. You know what I mean? So, like, Amy is freaking awesome. Like, I just pay the, the annual, like, $70 or whatever. That way I ain't worrying about it or whatever. Um, another thing for parties, I use Visly. It's $10 a month. That way, all I have to do is set up a group, and I had five parties going last month. Last week, excuse me. And I didn't have to do anything. I just had to create the group, create the link, and send everything to the host. And it, it was like a couple of clicks of a button, and their party was set up for the week. So, Visley is great, too, if you just need... Because I work, I, I work full-time, I'm married, I have a family. Like, I don't have any children, but, like, you know, I take care of my mom sometimes. But, so, any of those time-saving things, it's great. And, like, Amy is kind of time-saving, too, because Amy tells you, like, when to follow up with people. And people love to follow up. Um, I send happy mail. That's a good way to follow up too. And people get that happy mail. Usually it's just like a thank you card with a felt sample or a thank you card with a scent circle. Like people love that. Like I've ordered from several direct sales companies over the last year and I like never received a thank you. Um, maybe if I won like a contest or something, you know, like, the, you know, like we do with our online parties, but like that barely, barely ever have I received a thank you from another direct sales company. Um, so I, I do my thank you mail um, on the 15th of the month. I'll do it for like the first two weeks of the month. And then at the end of the month, I'll do it for the last two weeks of the month. Um, so I just tried to stay organized. Um, that and like I don't send a lot of like bubble mail packages because that adds up. Stick within your budget. Like do what you gotta do, you know? Um, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I apologize. I didn't write any notes or anything like that. I'm just trying to think of what I do in regards to PRP that is any different from what I've just said. And I don't think so. I think that's basically it. Like, my biggest ones are parties, follow-up, bundles, um, local orders, those are like my four main ones for PRV. Um, I know I typically like to be active within the first month, uh, first week. I need to like take a nap or something. Um, I try to be active within the first week um, of the month. Um, and I really challenge myself. I try to be at 2000 by the 15th. I'm not even kidding. And I know that's crazy, maybe, to some people, like, oh my god, like, I'm, you know, some people might be like, you know, I could barely get to a 1,000. Like, I really challenge myself, because I'm like, if I get to that 2,000, I'm gonna get that, you know, 5% bonus. So, um, now I'm sitting on over 3,000 for the month. That wasn't even my goal. I think I set my goal for 2,000. But if you set your goal... Once you hit it, aim higher. That might sound like common sense, but, like, some people hit their goal and then they just sit pretty for the rest of the month. I'm like, why? Like, why are you doing that? Um, oh, and another way, um, my VIP group. I post in my VIP group probably once a day, usually. Um, every once in a while, I'll skip a day because I, sometimes I feel like I'm maybe posting too much. 
Um, and lately I have been trying to go live a little more. The other day I went live and talked about Cincy Club because recently I have gained some Cincy Club members. So get the word out about Cincy Club because that's another way to gain PRV. Um, and it's automatic PRV. Like most of my Cincy Club members are monthly. So I don't really have to worry about at least being active for the month. Um, but most people don't know about Sensi Club and like the benefits of it. So definitely go live if you need to. I just went live and talked about what was in my club. Um, I went live and showed the um, princess wall fan that I just got. Um, I went live, you know, go live for different reasons. Oh, when I went live with the rainbow bundle. Oh my God. Like everybody loved it. It was awesome. So people love to see your face. Like they don't want to just see stock photos of products. That is boring. I know I don't like that. I don't like that for any company. Um, whether it's direct sales or, you know, Target, whatever. Like I don't, I like to see like, we are our own brand. Like we, we do not, yes, we represent these products and we, um, create our own bundles sometimes and that sort of thing, but we don't like hand make anything, <laughs> you know, maybe like labels and cards and stuff, but, um, we are our own brand. So people want to see your face. People want to see your personality. So definitely show your face in your picture, show your face with the wax bar or some pods or whatever your warmer, um, and you know go live um whatever you if you're come if you've never done it before i challenge you do something that you have not been comfortable with in the past um because for a while there i was like really weird about going live um i was like oh my gosh you know i don't know how i sound on video or whatever um it, you know, if you, I have a YouTube channel. I'm not super consistent with it, but it does have a lot of Cincy videos. So, and like for my team and stuff. So, you know, if you, if you want to create a YouTube channel, like do that, like do something that you've never done before. Like I challenge you to challenge yourself with something you've never done before in your business and then see where it takes you. So. I hope that these PRV tips kind of help you. Um, I absolutely love trainings like this, so I know I do them. I go live on my team's channel like all the freaking time, so um, I'm super excited for you guys. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, and again, if you're watching the replay, comment replay. I'm super excited to help you guys out, and um, I hope that you have a great Monday. I'll talk to you later.